from the home to the travel agent. to the airport and to the hotel. Information technology has become part and parcel of the travel industry. This film looks at how two companies, specialist tour operator Sunville Travel and internet travel agent Expedia.co.uk use information technology in their business. Good afternoon, Expedia. You're through to Susan. How can I help? Expedia promotes itself heavily as an online travel agent, where you can do everything electronically. But in reality, it still needs a call centre, complete with human beings, to help customers with problems. What you need to do, you need to go into the home page and it will ask you if you're a member, you um, click on no and then it will take you through the process to enrol with us. Do you want me to do it? They may also have a very complex itinerary. Sometimes if they're travelling and doing several stop-offs, um, it can be difficult to build that yourself online and we can help them do that. Right, so you wanted to originate your journey from Manchester into Santiago. What we'll do is we'll just do a general search then first of all and find out uh, ex exactly what the best flight routes and the best times and prices would be. Would it be a return, would it, from Santiago to Lima back to Santiago? It would, okay. With a lot of the flights that you book on Expedia, um, we can issue you something called an e-ticket. So once you've done your booking, um, you needn't even ever receive a paper ticket. We'll send you an email with a number, and all you need to take to the airport is that number. And you can get straight on the plane. Obviously, you always need your passport, um, but the airline will just find that number on their system. And there you go. Um, so you're checked in straight away. Um, there are also, in a lot of airports now, there's automated check-in. So you can put your bag onto a carousel. You don't even need to queue up in the check-in queue. You put in your credit card to validate who you are, and you tie a label around your bag, and off it goes. And you can walk straight through. You don't even need to speak to anyone or handle any piece of paper. We got real tickets to come on this trip, and I'm scared I'm going to lose them. And with so yeah, e-tickets, like you can just give your, you can yeah. give your ID, and they'll know who you are. I think it's a so lot safer than having actual tickets. Definitely do. <laughs> I think it's a good thing. I think good, uh, as long as it's reliable. <laughs> you know, sometimes you, if you don't have a ticket on your hand, you just feel insecure. Your entitlement to travel is actually stored inside an airline's computer. It doesn't matter if you've got a piece of paper or not. There's no reason why you should have a, a paper ticket. It just complicates things, makes things more expensive, gives you one more thing to lose. And similarly, a passport. Now, I really don't want the bother of having to remember that. And there are being developed information technology systems which will look at your hand geometry. This is already in use in the United States. Or look at your iris, and that's another thing which is unique to each person. And if you are identified as being Simon Calder and not an imposter, then you automatically can get checked onto your flight or get through immigration in America. Those are the sorts of technologies that I think we're going to see much more of.